All right, next up is metallic character. So you kind of know what a metal looks like, right? It's shiny. Um, generally, we can, you know, it's malleable. You can turn it into sheets. You can turn it into wires, like copper wires, that kind of thing. Another big trend of metallic compounds is that they conduct electricity. And if you think about what electricity is, it's the movement of electrons. And so a lot of the properties of metals come from the fact that these electrons that these metals have are very loosely held. So that's why they conduct electricity, because electrons aren't held tightly, and so we can move them around. So most properties. Um, from the loosely held electrons. And if you think about um, our previous trends, you'll kind of be able to identify that the bottom left is going to be the least uh, tightly held electrons, right? The atoms get bigger and bigger. And so these electrons are further and further from the nuclei. And so as we go towards the bottom left, we're going to have more and more metallic character. Not the most important trend, but one important thing that we need to know is that in our periodic table, we have what's known as the staircase. And in this staircase, everything below it is a metal, while everything above the staircase is a non-metal. Um, and so that's going to be a very important trend once we get to chemical bonding. Not necessarily a trend, but a, a fact. Um, you're going to be able to have to identify, you know, is this element a metal or a non-metal? And based on whether it's a metal or non-metal, we'll decide how it chemically bonds. So again, here's just another periodic table um, with the staircase being, you know, very well shown. Everything down here counts as a metal, while everything up here counts as a non-metal.